Hello and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine for you video. Today's tutorial is about how to make a scaling gun mechanic. Uh, scaling gun uh, started to be super popular since uh, the game scale being announced, or actually since uh, a game jam with the theme scale uh, done before. And since this moment, lots of people started to create scaling gun as sort of a like base mechanic for their game or one of the secondary mechanics. And some people do it just for fun or, or like an easter egg. So in this tutorial, we're going to explain how to do it. Uh, this example is a first person example, just like the same one you find in the new project. Uh, what I'm going to do is just let's see how it looks like. It just uh, first person controller with this crosshair and you can use projectiles okay first thing I'm going to do is just disable uh, this I need the gun I need the, uh, the hand the crosshair but I don't need uh, certain projectiles so I am going to cancel this or just disable it for now okay let's see Okay, spawn projectiles. I'm going to disable it here and probably here too. Uh, yeah, it makes no difference for the touch, but yeah, it's, it's. I'm good with that. So, once more, okay, pressing left mouse button, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, then, I'm going to create here an enum to hold the status for uh, my scaling mechanic if it's scaling up or scaling down or if it's just not scaling anything so I'm going to kill this is scaling status and I'm going to add three status here none and up and down and just save and let's create a variable here inside the first person character with this type uh, let's call it scaling status and of this enumerator type and let's set it by default for none because by default the player is not scaling anything and now let's go to tick oh there is no tick here okay let's create one here event tick and within event tick which means every frame we are going to detect and check this to see if the, if there is a scaling up process a scaling down process or there isn't any process uh, in order to scale we are going to scale an object so my my intention here is that the player can like shoot this and keep pressing to scale up or keep pressing to scale down so we need an object scale so let's add an actor here and call it uh, in focus object for example in focus object and this is type of actor and it's definitely a reference so uh, we're going to get this and check if it's valid just to make sure there is an object or because for now it's null it's an empty as you can see it's none it's empty so when you scale up we check when when the scaling status is up we check if there is an object and if there is an object we scale it so so we set act to scale 3d if it's valid to let's get actor scale 3d and let's multiply by a value just to increase and actually let's also to make it more professional and add this value I, I, I would write here 1.1 or something to increase as in increase ratio but it's better if we hold this value here in a variable just in case we're using it a lot inside our graph so we can change it once and it replace all so we are going to sit here and say uh, scaling up ratio or multiplier or whatever and this is float and let's add one more and call it scaling down ratio and let's compile 
let's set some default values so scaling up would be 1.1 so we increase the size by 0.1 value and for scaling down we increase size for same oh let's let's i think 0.1 is too much because it's inside tick which means every frame so let's say uh 1.05 like half of 0.1 and same thing here 0.95 yeah so this is scaling up we use scaling up ratio and let's do the same thing yeah i don't like duplicate code but uh it's not code it's blueprints okay. uh we can just scale down so scaling up if the status scaling is up we scale up if it says down we scale down so how to change the status itself so i'm going to do uh my my goal here is when you press left click it's going to scale up when you press right click it's going to scale down so uh i'm going to choose mouse uh left mouse button and right mouse mouse button here left and right mouse buttons so uh when you press the left mouse button i'm going to uh trace do line trace to check what exactly uh underneath my current crosshair so what i'm going to do is line trace for not multi-line line trace for objects and oh well uh some people might think this is an odd way uh to use line trace while we have now uh get hit result under cursor for object it should be working the same but the problem is if you let's delete this because i'm not going to compile this if you check here when i hit play this is my cursor this is my crosshair which in game but this is my cursor so remember the cursor is here when i press inside the window when i do cast the cast will not be from the crosshair it will be from here where i left my mouse which is keep moving because if you check when i stop playing the mouse position is always different than the crosshair position see the mouse is here because the crosshair is hot it's not actually the mouse so if i use uh the under cursor by by object this is going to check the cursor itself not the crosshair we have in in the first person game so anyways i'm going to go with my way so uh line trace for objects and the start point i'm going to use the gun itself the top of the gun itself so get wallet location This is my start point and then regarding my end point it will be uh, a distance from my start point so i'm going to hit here uh, uh, plus vectors two vectors this is my start point to reach my end point which is actually in my forward direction of the player so i'm going to uh, get player controller and then get control rotation and get forward vector and i'm going to multiply this by a high value to make sure my endpoint is far enough or later you can have like a range for your scaling gun to reach objects and beyond this range you cannot reach objects but yeah i'm, I'm good with this so i'm going to do this line trace and uh, I'm going to set the objects here uh, let's make an array uh, wallet static is good but I believe some of the objects here in this scene is dynamic objects uh, so I'm going to set here the wallet dynamic and the physics body and okay all good let's just do uh, trace for, uh, debug for duration to make sure I'm seeing everything and I'm doing correct trace so yeah so everything is correct yeah this is good okay i'm going to come back here and then when i hit an object what is going to be done well i'm going to set the in focus object so i'm going to here say if there is something hit there is a hit result 
I'm going to set the focus object to the actual actor pin hit it and then I'm going to say uh, my scaling status is up because this is left mouse so whenever I release the mouse I need to set this scaling status again to none and at the same time I need to clear my object from here from the in focus oh sorry from the in focus object I need to set it to none or to nothing so to make sure this stick is not going to be executed because it will be not valid so now the expected behavior is when I hit the left mouse button it keeps scaling the object as long as I'm pressing until I leave my left mouse button so let's do it and oh it's keep scaling up keep scaling up keep scaling up keep scaling up and scaling up it's huge yeah okay let's remove this debug for duration I don't need it anymore and let's quickly add the scaling uh, down with the right mouse button it would be definitely the whole thing is the same even with releasing the mouse everything will be the same the only difference here is I'm going to set this to down as you see it's a duplicate code but I, I decided to make it here to make it uh, easier to understand uh, you could do this code only one time but put it here in tick and then when when the mouse pressed you can just set these two nodes on the press and these two nodes on release uh, also I would recommend that you come to the project settings if you are working in an actual game not a tutorial and in your inputs you set some action mapping so to make sure that your uh, the, your mechanic is going to work with mouse with keyboard with controllers with any type of input so back here again so this is going to be scaled down let's save okay and let's try again so this is left mouse scale things up right mouse oh right mouse is not scaling down okay let's see why oh yeah it's not connected <laughs> okay it should be connected with the released and let's move this here and this is connected with pressed the trace so let's try again here when I hit play this is scaling up object this is scaling down object scale down scale down scale down and scale down oh I hit wrong object okay later you can add tags to avoid uh, scaling up or down certain things that you don't want to scale up or down but here again as you can see uh, yeah uh, maybe there is only one issue that if I start to scale down and then I moved my cursor it will keep scaling down the, the, the selected object uh, this is normal behavior because as you can see here uh, the object will be resetted once I remove my finger but you can uh, if you put this trace as I mentioned before in updates so it will be more efficient but I, again I put it here to make it more clear and easy to understand what happens when you left mouse click or right mouse click but later you can just cut the whole thing this part and put it inside the update uh, or, or tech and then it's it will be more efficient so again scale up and on air I keep scaling down things like scale up and scale down so yeah uh, this is the mechanic it's fun you can keep playing with you can get lots of ideas around this you can do lots of fun stuff here especially when it's merged with uh, with rigid bodies and physics it's too much fun as you can see here so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed learning something new don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, check the old videos and there is uh, in the description a Trello board which contains all the planned tutorials just let me know what what's your opinion what you like what you don't like what you need to see soon and yeah uh, see you next video. Bye.